The 2019 Northwest Athletic Conference, also known as NWAC Championship, was held at the Greater Tacoma Convention Center. On November 21st, Pierce advanced into NWAC Championship after going 12-0. At the NWAC Championship game, Pierce lost 3-0 by Spokane on November 24th. Greg Fennell described his journey as the Pierce College women's volleyball head coach. It was a long journey. Uh, it was hard. It was hard fought every single day. Um, but watching the growth of the players from the first day to the last day, I wouldn't change anything. Keeping them um, engaged sometimes. I think that throughout the season, um, you know, we, we were so dominant with teams at times that, uh, and we we faced some teams coming up to the tournament that that weren't as challenging as we were going to face, so just keeping them engaged. I think it, for us it was a really hard journey just because I wouldn't say we struggled to get along on this team, but some of us didn't get along very well. So I think it was kind of a struggle to get past that, but once we got past it, I think that we all were wanted to win so bad and were able to work so hard that it was I think it's amazing that we made it that far. Honestly, like we all wanted to do better than we did last year, and we always had a goal that we wanted to beat every team once, and we fought for that goal. We didn't accomplish it <laughs> against Spokane Valley, but we did it. So I mean, we did good. My favorite game that we played was against Lane. After the second time, we had to play them just because. After the first point, we had scored the first point, I think we all just kind of knew what was going to happen that game, that we were just going to take over and control it and not stop. So that was definitely my favorite game. Strengths? I think our strengths um, was, was our offense. I think our, all season our strength has been our offense. All, all season our strength has been um, our blocking um, and our ability to to not let the BS that happens when you've got 15 girls on a team affect us on the court. I think that they're, they're resilient, I think they're strong, I think they care, um, and at the end of the day, I think that's what's most important. Weaknesses. Defense was, I think that we relied so much on our offense and we relied so much on our defense that we could get complacent at times defensively. And I think in the two matches uh, of the four that we lost, the loss to Spokane and the loss to Lane, I think that our weaknesses were really highlighted and we weren't able to, to shore those up in those two matches. Louise, defensive specialist, mentioned her team biggest strength was teamwork. Honestly, once we get on that court, we let everything go. I mean, we may not like who we're standing next to on that court, but once we're on that court, that's, that's our best friend. And we're yeah. gonna support her throughout the entire game. The most memorable one was a, was a red card one of our players got that's two to my right for looking at an official because he looked at her too long and she just said, what? And <laughs> she got a red card and that's a, that's a, that's a minus point for us. Uh, but you know, we tell the girls every day that you know, you're going to get three to five bad calls every match and the officials aren't perfect um, by any means. So you know, just go with the flow, but it is what it is. Fennell said the moment that stuck out to him was the second time they played against Lane during the championship. We played them on Friday night at the, comp at the NY championships and quite honestly they humiliated us. Um, and it was, it, it was just, and, and it wasn't even on the, on the scoreboard, I mean, they beat us like 25, 20, 25, 22, 25, 19, so if you look at us on score, um, on the box scores, it, it wasn't bad, I mean we were close. But all in all, it was the way we played was not good. We, every, every single thing that we wanted to work on, um, it just didn't, it didn't happen. It, it, the girls just weren't cohesive. They weren't moving. They weren't flowing. And the things that we wanted to stop them do, from doing, it just didn't work. Um, and then we, that knocked us in the loser's bracket. We played uh, in the morning against Tacoma, beat them. Played in the afternoon against Rogue, beat them, which were two teams that were on a tear through the tournament that were kind of kind of dark horses. And then we got Lane again. And somebody actually asked me when Lane and Spokane were playing, um, somebody asked me, who do you want? And I said, I want Lane. I want Lane again. And they go, really? They just, they just beat you really bad. And I said, I know. I said, but you don't know my girls. 
I want Lane again. Um, and so that match that we played against Lane, um, what they did to us doesn't even compare what we did to them. We beat them 25-16 and then 25-11. Um, there was nothing they could do to us. I think that, that, that there, was, there was no stop. I think if you give us an opportunity to, to and we figure you out, um, these girls' pride just steps out. They, they, what happened the night before wasn't going to happen. And that's actually the most memorable match of the entire season for me was, was that match because it was redemption for them. To me, I honestly think it was when we beat Highline this first time we played them here. Or, I'm sorry, the first time we played them at Highline after they beat us. Just because I, I personally went in that match kind of scared because they had beat us before. So I was like, oh, I hope they don't, aren't able to do it again. And then when we did it, it was like joy and relief. Felt and, like a weight lifted yeah. off our shoulders. Like, okay, now we know yeah. we can do it. Yeah. You know, I like, you know, it's, it's, I mean, being at Pierce is fun, but I like, it's true, I like the players. I like, I like being able to, to take a player, and, 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 and I think a lot of coaches miss the boat when they, when they just coach the player and they don't, they don't mentor and, and work with the person that's uh, under the uniform. It's the relationships that you create um, and the relationships that last forever. Um, that's what I enjoy the most. Players Foster, Luis, and Evelyn said the friends they made through playing volleyball was their favorite thing. The friends I make, probably. I would say the friends, the memories that we make. I mean, we did it as one, so that that's always going to stay with me. I would definitely say the friends too, because I don't always think about like the game. I just think about like I live with five of the other players, so. <laughs> I think a lot about that, just like meeting them and being able to live with them, thinking about that type of memory. And I loved it. I loved every moment of it. And it, you know, even though we lost in the finals, no one can take away what these girls accomplished. No one can take away, you know, being the only team in Pierce history out of all the teams in athletic department to go undefeated back to back in conference. We're the only ones. No one can take away, um, you know, in two years, you know, we're 34 and eight this year and 33 and six last year. So that's, I mean, no one can take that record away from them. No one can take back-to-back -back division championships away from them. No one can take away third in the NWAC and second in the NWAC. So I just, just, just that. The memories, the moments with the girls, the van rides with the girls, you know, those, those, those are the things, the stupid stuff they do, the just, no one can take that stuff away. So it's just fun. Congratulations to the women's volleyball team making the second place at the Inwalk Championship 2019. We will see you again next year. This is Kotone Ochai recording from the Pioneer Publication.